We are asked to solve the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x, where x is an element of the real numbers. The way we are going to solve this is to first have a look at where the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. Now there are two cases when the absolute values are equal. One is if they both have the same sign and the other is when they both have opposite signs. Now a quick reminder of why this is the case. If you were told that the absolute value of x is equal to 3, well then we saw in a previous video that x could be equal to 3 or x could be equal to minus 3. since the distance from minus 3 to 0 is 3, but also the distance from 3 to 0 is also 3. So that is why we are allowed to say that the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x when 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 minus x or when 2x plus 1 is equal to minus 2 minus x. So continuing with our problem then, we will solve these two equations to find the values of x for where the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. So solving for x here we get that 3x is equal to 1, so x is equal to a third, and here we have that 2x plus 1 is equal to minus 2 plus x, so we get that x is equal to minus 3. So these are the only values where the two sides are equal to each other. For any other values they are unequal. So we'll just represent this on the number line. So we know when x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to a third the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. However, the problem we were asked to solve is when is the absolute value of 2x plus 1 less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. So looking back down here, when x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to a third, the absolute values are equal. This line is divided into three segments. We have one segment from minus 3 to a third we have another segment from minus infinity to minus 3 and we have a third segment from a third to infinity. So we'll just write out our three intervals. So we have one interval from minus infinity to minus 3, another interval from minus 3 to a third and our third interval is from a third to infinity. Now the square brackets here mean that the end values are included and the curved bracket means that the end value is not included. So there are three intervals where the absolute value of 2x plus 1 could be less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. What we are going to do is test a value in each interval in the original inequality to find out which interval our answer lies in. So we'll do this now. So we'll take the first interval minus infinity to minus 3. So we will test x being equal to a number within this interval, so minus 4, into our original inequality. Now our original inequality is the absolute value of 2x plus 1 less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. So substituting in minus 4 for x. We get that the absolute value of minus 7 is less than or equal to the absolute value of 6. The absolute value of minus 7 is 7 and the absolute value of 6 is 6. 7 less than or equal to 6, this is false. So this is not the interval where our solution lies. So we'll test the next interval so this interval here, minus 3 to a third. So 
So we'll test a value within this interval. So we'll test x being equal to 0. So substituting in 0 for x, we end up with the absolute value of 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of 2. The absolute value of 1 is 1, and the absolute value of 2 is 2. 1 less than 2, this is true. So our solutions do lie within this interval. Now we'll test the third interval also, because the solutions could also lie here, or they may not. So the third interval is from a third to infinity. So we will test a value within this range. So we will test x being equal to 2. So when you have substituted x being equal to 2 into the original inequality, you end up with 5 less than or equal to 0, which is false. So then the interval in which our solution lies is the interval from minus 3 to a third. So we would write our answer as x is between minus 3 and 1 third. So only values of x between minus 3 and a third and including minus 3 and a third when substituted back into the original inequality up here satisfy the inequality. To make this absolutely clear we will graph both absolute values. So we will graph the absolute value of 2x plus 1 and the absolute value of 2 minus x and have a look at them. So down here we have the graph of the absolute value of 2x plus 1, that is the black line, and the blue line is the absolute value of 2 minus x. We can see from the graph that the blue line and the black line are equal at here and here, where they intersect. So the x values that correspond to this are x being equal to minus 3, and here this is x being equal to a third. Now we've already seen this. We were asked to solve the absolute value of 2x plus 1 less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. That means in the graph where is the black line below the blue line? So 2x, the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is the black line. The absolute value of 2 minus x is the blue line. So where is the black line below the blue line? And you can see the black line is below the blue line here. So for all values of x between minus 3 and a third, the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of 2 minus x. So if we were to graph it and use the graph to come up with our solutions, we would get that x is between minus 3 and a third, and you will get the same answer, whichever method you use.